So for, for the cold, unfortunately, there is no medication. You know, it's all symptomatic treatment. So you, so you get, you, you know, if you're congested, you just have the decongestants and things. So there's no specific treatment for the viruses of, of, of the cold. Of, of the cold. Um, for the flu, there is specific treatment available. Uh, we call them in medical terms the um, neuraminidase inhibitors. Um, so what, what this does basically, um, neuraminidase, because you know, remember I mentioned that the H and N proteins, you know, H1, N1. So these, these uh, uh, medis medicines, they actually attack the N protein. They, they basically cause them, they block their function. And what it does is that, so you have a, it stops the virus from one infected cell getting into the other. Basically, it, it prevents the infected cell from releasing the virus so the virus cannot get to the surrounding um, host cells, okay? So, so that's why you contain it. Eventually, that cell dies and the virus dies with it, okay? So that's, that's how it works. And in the market, there's now, there's actually three different drugs that are available. Um, the most common one is the oseltamivir, which is commonly known as Tamiflu. Maybe perhaps some of you have already taken that. That's usually a five-day course. There's a newer drug called um, Baloxavir. That's just a single dose, just one pill. That's it. Um, it's, it's, the trade name for that is uh, Zofluza. And uh, the third drug is Zanamavir. It's been around sim same time as Tamiflu. Uh, it's an inhaled drug. It comes in a disc. And it's active against um, um, viruses that are resistant to Tamiflu. The problem is that if you, it can exacerbate asthma, and uh, it's, 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 it's been shown to cause catastrophic uh, ventilator uh, failure. So you can't use it in ICU patients because the ventilator will just, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll fail and the patient can die. So, so you wouldn't do that. Uh, as far as COVID in, in, in medications, um, as far as outpatient, you can divide them into outpatient and inpatient. Really the main medication for outpatient is the monoclonal antibody. That's really the main one. Um, and, and, and actually, you know, it's the most effective treatment, but you can only give it when, when in, the early type of, in the early phase of the infection, when once the patient is requiring oxygen, it's contraindicated, you can't give it. Uh, in our hospital, I, I'm mainly based at Baptist de Soto, we've given 19,000 infusions of, of uh, monoclonal antibody. So the, you know, that's just in one hospital, in one hospital. So uh, uh, it's been, it, and the government's paying for it. So, you know, but it's, it's, it's very expensive, $1,500 per dose. It's very expensive. So, so there are newer medications, alhamdulillah, new medications that are in, coming up. In fact, one of them already got approved in the U United Kingdom last week. You know, it's called uh, Molnupiravir, okay? It's made by Merck, okay? And the, the, it's, a, it's a direct antiviral, and it reduces, if you take it early, uh, it reduces your risk of in, going into the hospital by 50%, okay? But... Just, you know, after that came a, even a better drug, you know, uh, by Pfizer. And, and in fact, today, I mean, yesterday, um, they actually, um, um, uh, uh, they, they, they seek uh, FDA emergency use authorization. So that should be available. Why is that better? Because that actually reduces the risk of hospitalization by almost 90%. And, and so, so, so it, 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 it will really, it, this one is really a game changer that, inshallah, that's coming out, Pfizer, because... You, you know, if you start, if you get symptoms, you get COVID, it's like taking a, a pill. You just take a pill and, and you take that and, you know, it's like, like, in, like with the flu, you take Tamiflu. Now, this, if, once this becomes approved, you just take this and, and inshallah, you know, you, you, important things to take it within the first three days. And you actually have to take it with, an, with another medication called Ritonavir. We use that in HIV. It's, it acts as, acts as a booster. It helps to raise the the blood levels of, of this. This drug that for Pfizer, it's called Paxlovid. And, and uh, inshallah, it'll be available soon, I'm sure. And it's gonna be a game changer. It'll, be, it'll really help to uh, uh, stop this pandemic. And uh, as far as, just quickly, uh, inpatient use, I won't go into that because that's the things that we use in the mm -hmm. hospital. Uh, mainly steroids, um, a lot of immunosuppressant drugs. There's, a, there's remdesivir, which is controversial. A WHO thinks it doesn't work. You know, so, but we still use it. Um, um, so we won't go into that because that's more mm -hmm. kind of uh, hospital physicians.